That's okay, stand ups, you don't have to clap. Don't worry about it. All right, it was uh, it was really refreshing to see a lot of uh, female stand ups up here tonight, don't you think, Grandpa? It, it was it was fresh, it was nice, it was and, nice to see. And it made us feel really good too, because we know we're not the only people that have to suck a dick to get a gig, you know. So, uh, Grandpa, you see that guy back there in the uh, St. Louis hat? That guy right there? Yeah, I do. Yeah, that one. No, he uh, he told me he's a real big fan of old man penis. <laughs> Well, it just so happens I got, I got me one of them old man pieces right now. He uh, gave me 20 bucks to make sure you whip it out tonight. How much that money I get? I'll tell you what, I'm going to make you a deal. I'm going to give you $3. So, you ready for an eyeful? It's coming for you, buddy. I know you're asking for it all night. Here it comes. Woo! Ready? Oh, look at that. That's not as dramatic as I thought it would be. Kind of anticlimactic, man. It was. It's just kind of an old man deal. So, what do we do with it now? I don't know, you tell me. I'll make you another deal. That three dollars you just made, That's you, right. you give it to me, and I'll give you a reach around. So
So, uh, Grandpa, you ever had sex with a gerbil? Uh, no, I do not have sex with rodents. I am a connoisseur of uh, interspecies erotica, but I draw the line with a rodent. Well, uh, what about that movie you made with that actor? Uh, what's his American gigolo ass name? Uh, Richard Gere? Well, I said I never had intercourse with a gerbil. I never said it would stick one up my ass. Yeah. Now, when you're sticking a gerbil up your ass and having sex with another man, you need to be careful, because that shit can be dangerous. It can also be real fun, especially with a two-bit piece of shit actor. That's true. Sex with Richard Gere and a gerbil can be fun. Life lesson. Take it to the grave. <laughs> scream real fucking loud into it. Hello. Sounds like an asshole. So we're just going to play for these two now. You guys are all right. Fuck everybody else. You guys are the show. Eyes are on you. All right. So uh, this next song pretty much explains itself because, you know, it's about gravy. And gravy is like drinking God's love juices. God's love juices? <laughs> what? what? What's God's love juices? You know, like God's uh, rocket sauce is jism, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't get it. I have no idea what you're talking it's about. It's God's sperm. Oh, I didn't know you were going to be reciting poetry and shit. <laughs> 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 you guys are underappreciated. Hey, Grandpa, what 
What's your favorite thing about gravy? Well, I like gravy so much that you can put it on damn near anything and make it taste good. You mean like uh, some dog shit? I tell you what, you put gravy on dog shit, it's the best damn dog shit you ever did eat. I didn't mean to do that. I never thought of anything I meant to. I didn't mean to do that. Just called you gravy. That's because it's awesome. I didn't mean to do that. I never thought of it. I didn't mean to do that. What's this rumor I hear about you opening up a cafe? You're damn right, it's called Grandpa Salty Shack. All the food's free, but you gotta work for the gravy. I didn't mean to do that. I never thought of anything I meant to. I didn't mean to think to. I never did that at all. I meant to. Gravy train got biscuit wheels. Chicken wings got the Amendment that protects our right to gravy. You damn right, the Second Amendment. Right to bear gravy. Mmm, bear gravy. Mm. I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna buy everything I'm into. I didn't mean to think to. I'm gonna do that with all I'm into. Rock star in here. I tell you what, some claps. That's awesome. A lot of people have asked us, now why would you name a comedy band Theme Farm? And I tell them this, mind your own damn business. And you know what else that scares me? People in hairnets. People in hairnets just scare the shit out of me. I'm telling you right now. Yeah, 
that goes out to the whole bar, even the ones that don't want to answer. Have any of you ever had to call the poison control hotline? No. no. Anybody? No. Uh, I see someone raising their hand. Don't look. <laughs> so, you imaginary person, you're about to feel like a real dumbass because we're going to make fun of you. This song is called PSA. If you've ever had to call the poison control hotline, you, my sir, are an idiot. You are a moron. If you've ever had to call the poison control hotline because your child suggested something from underneath your sink, you should be shot in the face. Shot in the face with a gun. A really big gun. Just bad parents. I will give you an example of good parenting. You take little Johnny over to the sink and tell him to open up the cabinet underneath the sink, and when he does, you reach back and kick him in the nuts. <laughs> right in the nuts with your foot, with your left foot. You take little Johnny over the cabinet for the second time. You tell him to go ahead and open up the cabinet, little Johnny, and when he does, you reach back and kick him in the nuts. <laughs> right. When you take little Johnny over the sink for the third time, you tell him, go ahead and open up that cabinet underneath the sink there, little Johnny. He'll look at you and he'll tell you, no, 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 door for me, no, door for me. Now remember if we had some of this good old-fashioned rubber spoon, go out and get your own switch rubber hose discipline. Maybe we wouldn't have these kind of criminals we got out here nowadays. But after guys used to come up, punch you in the head, and take your wallet, and they got these some bitches clearing your bank account out from the fucking internet. The fuck's the world coming to? What's the internet? What is the internet? I don't know how Gore made it, though. <laughs> I couldn't help me notice so, uh, that somebody said Branson out in the no. crowd when we were playing. Oh, yeah. Very we're, loud. We're, we're definitely from Branson. Talk. We belong there. Me and Andy Williams, we go way back, man. He's I'm fucking really awesome. Cool. Yeah. He used to sing me Moon River when I was a little baby. And then he molested me. Hey, do you know Filipino, baby? No. <laughs> but, have you ever been to a cockfight? I've hosted them. Trick question. Not a trick question, sir. I've hosted them. Has anybody here ever been to a cockfight? Not doing it. I'm not. Let's have no. one right now. Nope. You listen here now, boy. You are a trained monkey. You will do nope. as we say. AJ we say it out. AJ LaDouche, whip it out. Get up here. Get up here. Whip it out. <laughs> Whip it out. Whip it out. Don't be timid, boys. Come on. Does everybody have crochet that, penises? That is no. the smallest crochet penis I've ever oh, seen. Oh, you in my should be life. embarrassed for your crochet penis. Go hang your head in shame, boy. You douchebag. Well, before we can show you guys the awesomeness that is the cockfight, you got to put your dick in your hand first. Four.
keep it safe and warm. Hey, uh, Bobby Joe, uh, what's your name? Yeah, man, she so you know my name is Take a Kama Sutra, Twitch of the Nipple, Apple, just Madonna Slap, Pissy Aiden, Titty Shaking, Baby hate, Shaking, Heart Attack, Quick Quiver, Name is Fever, and Sloppy Sideways, Box Head, Super Capital Fragilistic, SP on the Newsbag Jones. Oh, yeah. That's right. I forgot about that. I, never, I never knew that. We wrote a song about it, you dumbass. <laughs> Some stand up comedians, Grandpa. Uh, two hours of Dane Cook. Yeah, that'll do it. But you, uh, really know what gets their fucking goat? When you steal their motherfucking jokes. Uh -oh. Alright, boys and girls. Now it's time for Pumpkin King Steals Jokes, cause he's not that funny. Yeah, I am too! Alright, why do rapists hate TGI Fridays? Why? Because it's hard to go raping on an upset stomach. But <laughs> on. Why did the heavy metal band Metallica have to cut their hair? I don't know why. The barber said that's the only way to get the matted cum out. How about on. If you take yeah. the five members of the shitty band Smash Mouth, you put, a, you put a copper penny in each one of their asses, what do you get? Well, I don't know. What do you get? Nickelback. I'm an old bum bum cheese. Yeah! Woo! What do you call a hole in the bathroom that you stick your penis in? Your mom. That's not funny. 
I was gonna say Madonna, but now you done fucking ruined it. I'm um, sorry. Right. And this has been Grandpa Steve's Jokes. And this song is called Glory Hole. All the drunks in the bar stand in the bathroom door Cause they know within there lies a chance for love And they don't want to know who it is or what they're touching So they come to this bar to change your love They come for the glorious of glory holes That glorious of glory is the glory hole That's right, we're talking about the glory holes Glory holes are filled with love, praise Jesus Jesus Christ to be alright with the glory hole Why else would they call them glorious? This is the very bar Twenty-seven years ago where my parents met and conceived me So I returned on the anniversary To sing and know to the glory hole Yeah, 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 yeah. 
substitute. The mouth solo. Look at that pretty mouth go on. There ain't nothing, there ain't nothing gayer than a mouth solo. Especially from that pretty fucking man right there. When I see him form notes, I just want to, God, ah, oh, it's fucking torture. And now, the moment everybody's been waiting for. Nah, -ha, we're not done. We got a fucking cockfight, and it's Friday night. And what Zenith Farm does on Friday night, we have a cockfight. But this boy right here ain't fighting no little penis. So you can use my penis. <laughs> now that's on, better that's on the lean now. That's on the loan. Don't get it dirty. We got your credit card number, just in case something happens to you. Would you, uh... My credit is not good. <laughs> <laughs> Would the cockfighters please take their positions? In this corner, weighing in at 9 grams and 14 pounds of testicular fury, it's Grandpa. In this corner, weighing in it's the douchiest douche from the state of Texas, AJ La Douche. Let's get ready to cockfight. It's gonna be a cockfight on stage tonight. It's not what you're thinking. It's about a penis They all sit behind half Zipper gauges Out well, they come For the title bout There's gonna be a cockfight On stage tonight It's not what you're thinking It's about a mushroom Channel and uh, 
uh, we got a few music videos and we got all our songs up. Zenithfarm.com. Zenithfarm.com. We got the album up like for it. free. Gratuitous puppet porn. We got that too. Get on there, you'll like it.